All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to create a, a level for uh, Asset Forge uh, kind of uh, in imports. And so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your game and you're going to uh, create a new level and you're going to call it Asset Forge. Oops, give it a second. So, as usual, click your default. Um, I'll say selected here. So that I'll, I've already done this once, but I'm going to do it again so that. Uh, can have an example that you can follow. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to enlarge this quite a bit. So let's scroll down here and uh, let's see. Oh, maybe just scale down here. I'll go 200 by how much is that? Is that enough? Yeah, that's probably enough. So I'll, I'll do that to, to all of them. So make a basic, really big basic level. We could use the terrain like we learned earlier, but I'm just going to go with this. So we have a basic level. And as soon as you have it, you're going to go file, save, uh, save, current as. You're going to go and I'll call this one asset forge 2. Okay. So click save. And now what I want to do is bring in the castle that I designed in asset forge. Now I'm probably going to get you to design a vehicle of some type as well. But I'll make a separate tutorial on showing you what I want you to do with that when you bring it in. So what we've done is we've built a castle and maybe we want to put some bears or some of our enemies in there. So let's uh, start by um, coming down here now in our content browser. Go to the main root. You're going to right click. You're going to create a folder called, and I already again, we'll call it Asset Forge 2. So this is a second folder, but you'll call it 1 because you should have nothing on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my uh, OBJ file. So the castle file that you saved, and here is mine. So make sure you remember where you saved it. So I'm going to click Open. Now this video is really about collisions and import all. So that what that means is when you create an object, uh, it, create, it comes in with collisions and meaning. So when your player uh, goes to uh, approach that object, you know, he'll hit it. And there's... Uh, now in your castle, you're supposed to have built a door. So how does the player go through the door? Because uh, mo probably, uh, I'm going to close this. Uh, well, when it comes in from Asset for uh, Forge, it's just one big block of collision. So you're going to have to create a custom collision. So here it is. I'm going to drag this in. I'm going to show you what I mean. Now, it's going to be sideways, but I'm not going to flip it over. So I'm going to type 400 because that's about the size it needs to do. So under scale over here. 400. Make sure, obviously, you still have this selected. 400. All right. And so there it is. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So uh, I could easily click over here and I'm going to rotate this and you'll, it'll say 45, 90. There you go. So here's my castle. And I'm going to also click here so that uh, I can go down and their player can actually reach the door. So if I press play, uh, well, it won't work, so I won't even bother trying, and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna scroll around here. So where is that door? So we're gonna go here. So you see the door there. So I'm gonna just, uh, and where's my player start? Okay, right over there, perfect. So if I press play, he won't be able to go in. And how do I know that? Well, if you click here under lit, go player collision. And you're going to see it's going to create one big block. So if I scroll around, you're going to see that there's not really anything I can do here. Because it's one big block. But I built a door. How come? Well, you have to program it so that it knows. So what we're going to do now is we're going to double click on the castle. And you can always drag it up here. It's always a good idea. I'm going to click on here and I'm going to change a few things to so these collisions are enabled they're simple and, co and complex collisions but here's what you need to do so you type 1.0 and we'll leave this at 16 and before we do that we're going to remove all collisions and we're going to go auto create new collisions okay and that still hasn't done it so so we change this to one, so it's going to be very accurate. We're going to click apply. And then we're going to scroll down here and we're going to actually uh, choose complex as simple. Because a simple 
um, Collision kind of doesn't keep track of all the details that, uh, like the door, for example, which we need our guy to go through. So um, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go uh, use complex collisions as simple. Click uh, save, very important because I, and now you're going to see that our castle, oh wait, looks totally different. So this is still with the uh, player collision. So you get to see uh, where the player will be able to walk on, etc. So I'm going to just um, scroll down here. Now why don't we press play? I'm going to turn this off and go back to lit mode. Press play. And let's see how our player does. So I think the door is the other way. So let's go here. Um, let's double check here. Is he able to jump? Okay, the ledge was a little high. And you know, this is a also like, you'll see I built my stairs a little too big. So I could go back into Asset Forge and fix that, take a few seconds. And the lighting isn't all that best. This is maybe where you wanna start adding point lights and so on. Uh, make sure you have your volume uh, box, light box around your, your level or else it'll be really slow. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know, thanks.